This week, Chandler Police, they're boasting about the most number of school resource officers in that program. They say they've got the most around. So Maria is in Chandler right now at Chandler High in particular. Maria, good morning. Good morning, Gina. So no traffic around just yet. School starts in just about an hour. We've seen some kids trickle in and the school resource officer program is a big deal for Chandler police and the neighboring school districts. And before we talk to the local school resource officer here at Chandler High, which by the way, they have 3500 students. I want to show you the tweet. OK, Chandler police bragging about the 11 school resource officers they have across three school districts. That includes Chandler Unified, Mesa Public Schools, and also the Kyrene School District. So the Chandler PD also tweeted that it's been recognized as the quote model school resource officer agencies. We know not all schools have them, but I do want to bring in officer Stephen Dew. I have to give him an air high five because apparently in the COVID world, <laughs> we're not able to shake hands or give high fives. Uh, you have a fun last name. How do you introduce yourself to the kids? Uh, usually it's, hey, my name's officer Dew, Scooby Dew. What do you do? Do what's right. Do what's right. That's yeah. my favorite one. Uh, let's talk about kids safety. How do you keep kids safe on campus? Well, it's, it starts from the outside in. Obviously, I, I help ad administration with the planning of emergency procedures, but it also includes what's happening on campus and uh, creating a, a safe learning environment that includes positive interaction with uh, authority figures around. It. How do you know it's working? I know it's working uh, from experience. Uh, when we see uh, discipline, basic discipline go down, you know, serious incidents go down, and then more collaboration with available resources, whether it's a counselor, social worker, or myself. How do you keep yourself approachable? You were telling me that that is an important job to, to be able to connect with the kids. Well, it starts off with just having a good smile. <laughs> That's where it starts. But then uh, recognizing that some kids uh, might have uh, not so great experience with law enforcement and to do what I can to, to talk with them, um, uh, be uh, approachable, and, uh, it, you know, it, it, I just have a knack for it. I don't know how to explain it. All right. We're going give to yourself, give yourself a pat on the back. You're like, I'm just a natural, right? Yeah, and, just be approachable. You know, Officer Dew says that he actually didn't think he'd be in this program that long, but ended up loving it. We're actually going to talk to him again at 730. We'll learn more about his backstory. And by then, you'll see more kids back on campus. Scott, Olivia? Well, he, he's got that smile, but he Definitely. also, he just looks like a nice guy, yes. doesn't he? Like a guy you'd want to pal around with. Doesn't he? Yep, for sure. <laughs> Great, important nice, presence nice on guy. campus. I can confirm. Thanks, Maria.